ranked this too casual. I mean, come on. Team Deathmatch. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All jokes aside. One half jokes aside. There, I said it. Ranked this too casual. Now, this is both a good thing and a bad thing, but it's a little bit more of a bad thing than a good thing, and here's why. Um, here's why it's a good thing first. So it's like, it's quote unquote a good thing because something that caters more to the casual player base will attract more casual players, therefore increasing the total player base because, let's face it, there are more casual players than there are hardcore players or players who like practice the game 7 hours a day or grind it 7 hours a day, you know, something like that. There are more people who would just like, you know, pick up the game at the end of a day at work or a day at school rather than like grind rank for 6 hours or 12 hours a day, try to get to number one in the leaderboards. And as we all know, an increasing player base is obviously good for the lifespan of an online game. That being said, it is still a bit of a bad thing because, well, here's an example. I played for the past three weeks, starting from Pro 1 because of the ranked reset. I played ranked like occasionally. Like, like maybe in one session, I would play maybe like 7 to 10 games and I'd win, well, I'd lose like two or two to four of those. However, like, I just occasionally played it and eventually I reached legendary. Did I feel happy? Yeah, I felt happy because you know, I don't need to quote quote grind for legendary anymore. But that being said, I didn't grind for it, you know, it didn't really feel that satisfactory. So I didn't really feel like a yes, like a euphoric kind of yes, like, yes, I finally reached legendary after grinding for so long or for so many hours something like that this is because one there was a rank boost at the start of the season but the main reason why it's really easy to rank up right now is because you get so many points like here in legendary rank you if you win and you're just second place on the team and you get like 2800 as a score from playing in the game you'll get plus 49 points back then if you wanted to get plus 49 points you'd have to top frag and get maybe over 4,000 4, score from the game. Now, I didn't start playing in Season 1. I just like heard of stuff from Season 1. I started playing around December, so I'm not, I'm not really sure. Like, it was probably Season 2 or Season 3. But basically, yeah, it's really easy right now to rank up compared to before. Now, do I think I deserve to be in Legendary from the time I played rank? No, I just occasionally played it and eventually reached Legendary. But like, if this was in like one of the past seasons, I'd probably just be in Master 2 right now from the amount I've just played rank. I'm not saying I'm a terrible player, I'm just fairly decent. However, I'm talking about the amount of time I played rank. I didn't push for it actively, I didn't grind it. I just occasionally played rank and eventually I reached Legendary. I'm not saying that Legendary should take the same amount of time and effort it takes to become like number one on the leaderboards. I'm just saying it needs more time and effort in order to restore the status that Legendary once had. Well, yes, eventually anyone can become Legendary just by playing rank a lot. Even if you're not that good, you don't have that much good game sense. You can just eventually reach Legendary from just playing rank a lot. I'm just talking about how Someone could reach Legendary, even if they're like a mediocre player, by just playing rank occasionally, and that's a problem. While Legendary isn't like a measure of skill, like rank isn't really technically the measure of skill because there could be like a really skilled player in Pro 1 and like some mediocre player in Legendary. Legendary should generally, I'm talking generally, have people who already have a good like sense of the game they have some good game sense good cross replacement good movement they know how to play their role in the team they know when to push when not to push and basically they're not really mediocre while i'm not a perfect player i do have like terrible aim at times you know, i make i rate i make rookie mistakes at times okay it's just that like in legendary right now you expect players to at least have a decent amount of skill it's just that there are lots of players in legendary right now that have the skill of someone probably in like pro one or something like that like there are some people who don't put the effort to a game they don't have very good cross replacement 
They don't move while shooting. They don't have very good aim. They stay in the same place for the whole time, for like the entire round. And I even like came across a teammate when I was playing hardpoint the other day, who waited at the next hardpoint, even though the current hardpoints were just occupied by the enemies, still had like 50 seconds left. Like it could have been a five, a five-man push into that hardpoint, and we would have taken it. But no, one of us had to like wait there. At the next hard point and you know we just we lost the game now the game has been out for quite a while now not really like very long but quite a few months so obviously you know anyone can really reach the legendary right now compared to obviously at the start of the game in season one if you tr if you reach legendary at the start of the game then you're obviously great but like legendary should at least have decent people Legendary should be generally filled with people who are fairly good at the game. You know, they don't have to be the best, but they need to be fairly good at the game. They need to have some good game sense. They need to have good aim, good movement. They need to uh, know when to push, when not to push. They should know their role in the team. Example, if, there are, if, they, if they notice their team is pushing and slaying the other team, then they'll play the objective. They have good map knowledge, they know how to control spawns, they know where the spawns are, they know how to do map control, they know when to plant the bomb, when not to plant the bomb, and among other useful skills in playing the game well. How can this quote unquote problem be fixed? Well, we can go back to the old point system. Yeah, it was more difficult, you know, you could win one game and just get 20 points back even though the last two games you played you lost 15 points each but that would make ranking up more um, satisfying it would also make it so that if you wanted to reach legendary you would actually have to improve your own gameplay and become more resilient in the grind this would make the general population of players in legendary be more skilled they would this would be more filled with people who actually put some effort into the game right now a round in legendary would sometimes either be too easy because your enemies aren't that good or it would be frustrating because you would be queued up with teammates who aren't very good come on it's it's really tiring when you have to both play the objective and slay at the same time because your teammates just keep dying and dying and giving the enemy their score streaks. Like, like who wants to play a game like that? I like the games where um, both my team and the enemy team are both filled with good, you know, fairly decent players. So it's just all up to which team outsmarts the other. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the current rank system. Should it be changed? Should it be brought back to the old way? Should it be like a, like an in-between of this rank system and the old one system? Let me in the comments. Let me know in the comments below. So that's gonna do it now for my talking. Just enjoy the rest of the gameplay. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Please leave a like and subscribe and have a nice day. See you.